Greetings everyone and welcome to another Let's Talk About Films. And today we are, well if you saw from the title, we're talking about Be Kind Rewind. This film, I think it's a little bit underrated, I'm on the top they get five stars and all that. People have, I know, I've actually talked about, have you seen this movie? Oh, because I had my hair, I had my hair cut today and I've got hair everywhere. Um, I've never heard of it. And like, oh, it's Jack Black, don't like Jack Black. I really enjoyed this film. It is two guys, two guest mates. I think it's Mike, let's check the back. Yep. Yep, Mike and Jerry. And Mike's dad owns a video rental store. They still do VHS, where it's going to DVD. And something happens with Jerry. Yep, Jerry. Where he accidentally erases every single vi video. I forgot to put this. He accidentally erases all the tapes. So someone comes in, wants a VHS, and Mike panics. He's like, oh my god, what can I do? So they have an idea. They will re-record the movie themselves. And I think the first one they do is Ghostbusters, and they do some really weird effects, and it's actually quite funny. And then other people hear about this film, and they want another film. So it continues on with more pe more films being made, and them doing it themselves. And it's actually really funny. Uh, they do like Robocop, um, Rush Hour, they do a whole load of films. And it kind of turns into a big community thing of everyone doing the movie. And then they get into trouble because it's all copyright and all that stuff. And bloody bloody blah. But it turned out they and then want to make their own movie before everything is basically the, uh, the video shop is in a hus well, it's going to be torn down and they, they'll try and try and save it. And they make their own film, and it's really, really good. Um, it's kind of a love story as well. Not much of a love story, but the two guys, Jack Blackhand, who is Moss Def. I've not seen anything else, really, um, Moss Def. I probably just don't look out for him. Jack Black, he doesn't do much anymore, really. He does like He did Jumanji, which was really good. I've not seen it, but what I've heard, it's really good. But I really enjoyed this film. It's really cheap to pick up now. I don't got on DVD because I've never seen this on Blu-ray anywhere, but um, it's a really good fun film. Who directed it? Never heard of him, so yeah. But um, it is a good family film. It's a 12. There's a few. Why is it a 12 anyway? It has sex reference. That is it. I don't even remember them in there. Is it a family film? Yes, you could all. Well, some young kids probably not, but. Most kids you can sit down and watch this with. My dog is being a pain. You can see his shadow. Being a pain. He just wants to be on the film. Uh, but um, it is an all-round really good film. It's got Scorny Weaver in it. She has a really cool cameo. She is the evil... See, I think it's Scorny Weaver. God, it's been ages since I've actually seen this. And this film was like... I must talk about this film because it's really good fun. Doesn't say... But yeah, two guys remaking really good films. And they make their own effects and everything. And it's... What? No, go away. Go. Go, lay down. Go lay down. No, you're going to burn your face. You're going to burn your face on the light. Go lay down. My dog's stupid. Sit. Good boy. Bless him. But um, no, for an all-round funny film that's probably really cheap to buy... Be Kind Rewind is highly recommended. Um, one of those films, I saw this in the cinema because I saw the trailer for it. Actually, watch this video. Go check out the trailer. I think it'll appeal to most people. For some reason, it's when it, people do not like Jack Black. To me, oh, sorry, I've got hair on my face, it's really annoying me. Jack Black, he can be really good in films or he can just be irritating. Some people might find him irritating this film. I find him really good. There's one scene where they're making their own film. Because he likes to think he's the main lead role in all the films they do. He thinks it's a good idea to black up. And he's not understanding the reaction of all the black community not liking this idea at all. And he has to have be taken off and have a word to him about it. I'm not laughing at people black up. It's... Some people not understand. I'm it's more of the people laughing at why some people do not find it offensive to do it. It is really super offensive, 
and for some people not defining for finding it well it's just normal it's not it's like no it's not fun it's funny that people still think it's fine to get away with it and it's not nowadays it's not, <laughs> hasn't been since the late 50s so it's ridiculous but hey uh yeah oh yeah danny glover's in it danny glover is one of the is his uncle or his dad of mike and he's really good in this film as well um my life being funny um but yeah, the comedy is really, really spot on. It's one of those films you can shove in. If you've seen it more than once, you can still shove in and have it playing in the background and still really enjoy it. It's one of those background movies that it's just you can just easily watch and listen to. I've do it with quite a few movies, just pull it on and be doing something else or watching something on my phone and ooh, look over. <laughs> really funny. And then you can it's still you're not gonna get lost. And it's definitely a great comedy film, which I think is very underrated. Please, if you have seen this movie, let me know in the bottom. Because I'd like to know what you thought of it. Did you love it or did you hate it? I would like to know. There's a lot of movies they do in the film. I cannot remember all of them. But, well, oh, my dog's just bending himself in my light. No, he's fine. Bless him. Um, a film definitely worth picking up and watching. And you will have a good laugh at it. Um... I'm not going too much of them, there's no much spoilers, but it is a really good sense of community and I just find it like it gives, uh, brings everyone together and it's actually really good. I've watched this with my parents, they liked it as well, so my other half I haven't convinced to watch yet, but it's one of those that I will convince her to watch. But guys, that is the film I'm talking about this week and that is Be Kind Rewind. I'm hoping to get some more figures in. I should have Iron Spider here. It's like Hot Toys Iron Spider. It still hasn't turned out. I don't know. It should be. It should have been out this week, but I've not heard anything yet. So there will be a video of that coming soon. But till then, there'll be more kind of updates and vlogs and just be talking on my phone or on the camera. But that, that is this week's Be Kind Rewind. Remember to hit that subscribe button, which will go appear somewhere. It will appear, and check out my other videos. Again, the box will appear somewhere. Check them out. And I'll catch you all next time. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.